Hi everyone, what's up? This is Eddie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's always interesting guys to come up and explore different things, right? So as you can see on the thumbnail and the caption that I'm here to react on the history of the Na Native American. So basically, um, um, probably people who have been following me or, you know, have seen my videos might have known the fact that, you know, I am someone who loves to know about culture, history, apart from music, you know, and it's been a long time since I have not reacted on cultural stuff because my whole intention is also to understand the background of a country and what are the things uh, that has happened in the country before you know when you get to know about the history personally being my favorite subjects one of my favorite subjects for sure you know it always helps me to connect with people in a much better way you know and i think these are the small things that i do or maybe probably some other uh, youtubers who are doing that what it does is like it it's just a small initiation from my end to understand the existence of people in the world being an indian i do know i do understand about my own cultures and the religions and the customs that we have within our country and also at the same time i'm trying to learn about how uh, you know the people all across the globe have been following their things so it's really an interesting um you know cultural exchange kind of uh, channel that i am trying to create here so that you get to know about what i think as an indian and probably you can you guys can also help me out to know what you think where i am wrong or maybe i would i would sh i should study something about your culture okay so i am not sure about the content the but if there is something that's not uh, you know mentioned in the video correctly guys whether it's from me or from the video that i'm watching i would like to apologize to everyone my whole point or the intention behind making this video is to get familiarized with new terms and concepts of what has happened or what is there in this world you know and to get to know people closely that's my honest intention towards making this video guys so without wasting much time guys let's check this out quite excited to be on native americans do you know who the first people to live in america were people think it was christopher columbus and his crew others think it was european settlers or people that came to live here from europe but it was actually the Native Americans. Native means they were born in America. Yeah, just to clarify this, I do know about this. Christopher Columbus, basically, he wanted to find, discover India, but by, by mistake, he went towards uh, North America and he thought that they're Indians and he gave them the name Red Indians. Though it wasn't called America at the time. This was long before it became the United States. They were here much earlier than Columbus. When Columbus discovered America and its people, he named the people Indians because he thought he was in India. Uh, exactly. You may have heard other people call them Indians too. Yeah, exactly my thought. This is what I, 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 you know, I know about the Red Indians or the Native Americans. That's great. The correct term for how we refer to them is Native Americans. The Native Americans lived in both North and South America, including Alaska and Hawaii. Mm. There were different tribes and cultures who lived in different parts of the country. A tribe usually consisted of families or communities that spoke the same language and had common beliefs. They also shared the same customs or traditions. Some well-known tribes include the Cherokee, Apache, Cheyenne, Iroquois, the Ute Nation, and Navajo Nation. There were many other tribes as well. Each tribe has its own type of home, foods they ate, tools, clothing, and more. The Guys, just tell me, isn't it so interesting to study about all these things? I mean, like, do you, like, anyone who is watching my reaction video right now, 
whether you like my video or hate my video that's okay but just express your emotions towards or just lay just say something in the comment section like don't you guys feel uh, that you know we should have a community where we can have a lot of discussions about different cultures and community it's a it's a small way or a small step to revive those old ancient period right and bring the history more you know spread out the history of any community to different countries or to different people all across the globe the tribes are no different than people across the world today who have their own cultures and customs most historians believe the tribes were quite peaceful before the arrival of Columbus and other Europeans. Native Americans designed their homes according to the weather and area where they lived. A teepee was built using long poles for the frame or structure. The poles were tied together in a bundle at the top. Each of the legs or poles was then spread out, creating a large circle at the bottom. The poles were then wrapped with buffalo hide to protect the people from the weather and to keep them warm. The teepees could easily be taken down and put back up again, making it the perfect house for people who moved a lot. A wigwam was about 8 to 10 feet tall. Like the teepee, it was also made from wooden frames. These frames were covered with sheets of bark from a birch tree. Native Americans also used birch bark to cover canoes because it was waterproof and strong. It was also used for other things like baskets. A wigwam was more rounded than a teepee. Some wigwams were covered with grass. Those were called grass houses. Grass houses were much larger than a wigwam. A longhouse was a permanent home. Unlike the teepee, it was not moved from place to place. It was built from wood and bark in the shape of a rectangle. Holes were created in the roof to allow air to escape. There were doors on both ends of the house, similar to many houses today. Whoa, man. Tall poles from trees were curved and then used to create the roof. These houses were also covered with bark. Long houses were about 80 feet long and 18 feet wide and could hold about 20 people. A pueblo was a home built right into the side of a cliff, which is why it was also called a cliff dwelling. These homes were built right into the side of a cliff, which is why it was also called a cliff dwelling. These homes were built of bricks made from clay. They sometimes were built inside of caves. Some pueblos were four or five stories high. Ladders were used to go from floor to floor. These houses could hold many people. Some other types of Native American homes were wattle and daub, plank house, igloo, and chicky. The materials used to build homes depend on where the tribes lived and what was available to use. The clothing that the Native Americans wore were also different from tribe to tribe. Oh. If an area where Native Americans lived was warm like Arizona, then less clothing was worn because of the heat. In contrast, if it was a cold area like Alaska, clothing was layered for warmth. A common material for clothing was animal skins. The soft leather of the animal hides was used for shoes as well as covering for some of their homes. Whoa. Plants and cotton were also used for clothing. Native Americans used the resources around them like plants, bark, and roots to create dye. They used the dyes to color their clothing, baskets, mats, and other items. Many tribes hunted buffalo or caribou for food, as well as deer and rabbits. Fishing was widely used to provide food for villages that were close to rivers or streams. Spears, nets, and fish traps were made to catch the fish. In cold regions like Alaska, ice fishing was common. A small hole was cut into the ice and long spears were used to catch the fish. Farming was important to many of the tribes, especially in warmer climates. Main crops included corn, beans, and squash. Native Americans created many beautiful works of art. Pottery is the process of using clay to create handmade pieces. These works of art were not only beautiful, but very useful. Pottery was used to store grain and other foods. It was also used to collect water. Colorful baskets, 
blankets, and carvings such as totem poles or sculptures carved into large tree trunks were created. Some tribes like the Navajo and Pueblo were famous for sand paintings. Native Americans also had traditions which included religious and other ceremonies. Stories, music, dancing, games and sports were enjoyed. Like every people and culture in the world, the Native Americans lived, worked, and played based on their beliefs and customs. Native Americans still live throughout the United States today. All I can say guys is there are a lot of things to learn as we as the time goes by. Uh, I feel like I have just entered a voyage where the path is endless and there are a lot of things to explore, a lot of things to learn, a lot of tribes, a lot of languages, a lot of customs, a lot of traditions, a lot of religious beliefs and if you guys are here or also someone who likes to study about history, feel free to let me know in the comment section or if you want me to react on any other thing or watch some documentaries. It's really curious. I'm really curious at this point of time. And I just got a brief of how the Native Americans used to live during that period. But this is really fascinating. This is really interesting, guys, to be honest. And just looking forward to learn more it's all up to you guys like you should let me know in the comment section what you think about it so anyways guys uh, in case if you're here for the first time just let me remind you that i am eddie i'm from india and i make reaction videos on travel music and culture also i make videos on things that i personally are i feel like i like it and if you want to support me you can always do so you can be a part of my facebook or you can donate links are always given down in the description and do support the original content creator of this video the link will be shared in the description guys so i'll be back again guys with another video until then guys take care stay safe namaste and always stay metal